everyone. Hope you guys, hope you guys are doing great. In this video, we'll talk about how to prepare for Tableau interview. Okay, so let's break this down. So first, you know, I'm assuming that you know we are applying for a Tableau developer role, and the most commonly expected uh, thing from you is one Tableau knowledge on Tableau or working knowledge on Tableau, and second one is your database knowledge. These two will be the primary skills or these two are the primary skills based on which you will be judged. Okay. So if I talk with respect to the percentage terminology here, 60% of the weightage will be given to your Tableau knowledge. Like, you know, what kind of charts you have prepared, you know, what are, how you have used in your project, what kind of uh, reports you have created, what kind of uh, you know, functions you have used in your project. So that will play a very crucial role. Okay. Next is your database knowledge. It can be anything. It can be your MySQL. It can be your Snowflake. It can be your Redshift, whatever you are using. But one database knowledge will always be very handy for you. Okay. So because first they will be testing you on the Tableau, and then some SQL queries uh, will be asked, and then based on that, it will be the result will be shared. Third one is our communication. Okay, very, very important. Like often, you know, I have seen many of my students, even though they are, you know, very good technically, but, you know, when it comes to, you know, the facing the interview, they might not be able to express properly or, you know, they might not be able to communicate effectively. So don't worry, just practice, practice and practice. You will be able to, you know, uh, answer that. So one very important Bible for your, you know, interview thing is, you know, saving the interview questions that are asked to you in every interview, okay? Make a note of every interview question. So this is like very important question. Make a note of every interview question that is being asked to you. So now suppose, you know, you are facing an interview one today. Okay, so Tableau, you were able to tell, but you know, SQL, you were not able to tell, note it down. So when you go to, uh, no, uh, maybe interview to learn those, you know, uh, interview questions that were asked in the interview one. So like that, you will be preparing your own guide. You no, know? so at least, you know, after facing four to five, you know, interviews, you will get to know what are the commonly asked interview questions, be it Tableau or, you know, be it database knowledge. So that way you will be, no confident about yourself that you know you will crack this okay so this is one very stepping stone for you know a success at the interview now coming to this tableau okay one very important part to remember or to answer is like majority of the interviewers ask what have you done in your tableau or how have you used a tableau in your project what kind of reports you have done so often you know when i ask the same question in interview you know i i see you know a blank faces or you know i see like you know an uh, insufficient answer to this question so always 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 have you know answer ready for this so you suppose if i'm working in a project or if you are working in a project then you will be very confident or even if i'm working on something i will be very confident to tell them what i am doing at least if you're not able to Relate it with Tableau, tell them what your process is, what it does. Okay, so if I talk about Amazon, what they do, they, you know, we place an order, you know, and that we are getting the transaction ID and then we are getting delivery information. Some, some kind of theoretical explanation you should be able to give. Okay, so what your project is, start with that. You no, know? so that will get your tone setting. So, you know, you'll be in, in, into the, the interview mode here. Yeah. So there, take time, like, you no. Know, think what you want to tell, what kind of functionalities you have implemented. Now clients are, you know, the interviewers are looking beyond the 24 charts that are available in Show Me. They want to know what are the new charts that are that you are using in your project. So if you have explored a new chart in your project, explain them how you have used or, you know, how your dashboard will be helpful to the user. Tell them that point. So that way the interviewer will feel confident or will feel you know, convinced, okay, you have done something in Tableau and you, you are aware of what are the functionalities that are available. Okay, so first and foremost thing, have answer for the project that you are working on, what kind of reports you are doing, okay, and what kind of charts you are 
creating what kind of functionalities you are implementing in your project if you are able to explain this 30% of your job is done okay you should be you now when you are able to explain this you can do anything second step is let us see what are the commonly asked interview question okay so often when i ask what is the version of tableau you are using many students get blank so if i am using something at least with respect to tableau or power bi or ba any ba tool here versions play very important role why because every version has some importance in that they are bringing some new functionalities so if we are unable to tell what is the version we are using then the interviewer will get a question mark okay this guy has really used the tableau or not so that's why be very specific it can no it can be any version it can be your 2020.1 or it can be a 2019.2 it need not be the latest version that is available in the market so whatever you feel or whatever the version that you are using in your project just tell them that okay so uh, i'm using so and so version in my project okay fine so that will answer that question okay next what are the functions available okay so first question we answered what is the version so commonly questions they will commonly interview first first one is versions second important thing is filters the entire concept of filters is very 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 important the entire concept of filters is very important so this can be used in multiple purposes purposes it can be used to uh, to make your report interactive it can be used to you know uh, limit the scope of your data it can be used to filter the data it can be used to share your filters across multiple sheets so assume if you are creating 10 worksheets in nine sheets or maybe 9.5 sheets you will be using this filters so that's why this filters concept is very 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 important so you can expect at least two to three questions on this filters topic and not only the filters topic you should also know what is the order of their execution so often you know after asking the question about what are the filter types or and context filters or something like that they will be asking you know what uh, what is the order of this execution then you should also know the order of this execution like first you know a data source filter will execute then extract filter will come into picture then normal filter like that so you should be able to answer this in the order so that like you know so with this like you are at at least answering like you know two to three questions so that is setting your pace you know that is bringing or increasing the interest of the interviewer okay this guy is able to answer or this guy is able to explain the process so so if an interviewer is asking you question like what is filter tell him what is the purpose of this filter why i should use what it will do so not only you know just a definition if you tell the use case of that so then interviewer will you know get some confidence in you okay this guy knows you know, what is this uh, the concept about because we all we you know, so expect uh, the developers to know what is the concept behind that why that should be used and all so that is first thing second is charts if i talk about okay so by default in show me we have 24 charts but often you know we create many more charts than what is available in show me so this days you might be asked again one common question like what kind of charts have you prepared or have you created in your dashboard so move beyond your donut chart okay so often like 90% of the times i get answer that okay i have created donut chart so donut chart has become very common guys you know don't answer that kind of questions even though if you are used donut chart okay i don't mind because that is that is one of the most commonly used chart fine but think beyond the you know uh, beyond those 24 charts that are available how you are using the dual access concept to create new charts that is very important explore that concept you know dual access concept is very important that will give you knowledge that will help you in creating new charts new uh, kind of variations so this will like you know uh, this will give uh, 
an idea to the interview that okay this guy is exploring the different possibilities that are available in tableau he is looking beyond those 24 charts that are available so that's why I have knowledge on the other charts that are possible. So I'm not asking you to create chart using tan theta cos theta and trigonometric values using some dummy worksheet to create Sankey chart and all and all. Just look at the possibilities of having uh, using semi dummy calculations. What all we can do using dual axis? What all we can do? Explain, you know, like, uh, beyond 24 charts, what are and what are the charts possible? That way will be you know setting tone again i mean we are going in deeper into his like uh, the percentage wise his uh, interest on you or his confidence on you then we have one uh, very important concept called as parameters here so what does this parameter do what are the use cases there are plenty of use cases with respect to parameter so explain him how you have used a parameter how or how parameter is useful so you should have at least four to five scenarios or maybe five to six scenarios you know, handy to explain how you have used in the project. This is again very, 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 very important. Okay, so understand the functions. Okay, so see what are the new functions that Tableau is adding. Okay, so at least if, if you are aware of basic functional function functions that are available across any tool you take, you be take it, you know, a BI tool or any SQL, if if else case statements, you know, between date functions, these are very, 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 very important. Sometimes you might be asked to you know write the logic. Then if you're not aware of the functions, then it will become very tough for us to you know answer those questions. So that's why keep studying. So these functions, you know, it cannot be built in a day. Okay. So you have to keep learning functions, you know. So suppose you are starting to learn functions today. You start with first basic functions, number functions. What are the, you know, functions available in Tableau? What do they do? How do they help us in, you know, uh, manipulating the numeric data and all? So start from there and then learn about string functions. So the more you remember about, you know, uh, these functions, the more it will help you in writing logics in your project. That is about uh, you know your parameters and then functions. Okay, so then coming to my database here, and then okay, so before we go to database, next we have you know dashboards. So what kind of dashboards you have used? <clears throat> how many dashboards are you you know putting in? Uh, how many worksheets are you putting in your dashboard? How have you designed that dashboard? How did you get you know, the requirement and all? So you need to have answer to these very basic questions. So, and then if you are able to explain that dashboard to the end user, then I think that will also add some weightage to your profile there during your interview process. Okay. So if they are asking this kind of question, you know, consume as much as possible your time and try to explain him in the detailed manner as possible, because that is very important from you know uh, your perspective also, because as you speak more, the more you get. Okay, so try to prepare answers for all of this, you know, in hand before the interview, so that when you go, so you'll get the point. So don't get, you know, don't get cluttered when, when you're in interview. So it, it happens, you know, we might be nervous, you know, so, I mean, even it had it happened with me many, many times. Okay, so when I was you know facing interviews uh, with a big client, you know, even though I knew the answer, I was not able to answer those questions. It happens, you know, but again, we have to you know keep keep improvising ourselves, learn from our mistake. You know, this thing like you know prepare a note of what all we are getting is very important. That will play a very crucial role. Next is coming to database knowledge. Again, like, you know, open I get, sir, you know, do we need, do we really need the database knowledge to, you know, the crack the interview and all? Yes, we need database knowledge because you, as a Tableau developer, you will sometimes write queries, you will sometimes modify queries, you will sometimes update queries, you will sometimes also fix the queries. So for that, we should at least know what this query is doing. So for that, database knowledge is important. So what should I learn? Okay, 
So first is lung. Uh, you should be able to use group by having fair conditions. Okay, you should be able to answer. You should be able to make joints. Okay, at least multiple. So again, this is one of the very common questions. Like you know, uh, getting data using multiple tables. One very very common uh, commonly asked interview questions. So prepare for this. How to get you know top data here, top end data. Like top three records the client is expecting, top four records client is expecting. How do you get that using your SQL queries? So that you need to answer. How do joins work in Tableau and how do joins work in SQL? You should have a very clear cut understanding. Okay. So because you know we have very uh, less time allocated to database. So interview might directly go you know, to asking you know, directly into the topic, like you know, what does uh, how many types of joints are available? How do they work? You know, write a in a joint and all. How what is the difference and all? Okay, so prepare like this. So I'll share you uh, my you know the interview questions that I have and interview mat material if you are interested. I hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye.